Roxo Media House. What's up, Frog fans? I'm Summer Holt from the TCU women's soccer team. And I'm Joe Laterza from TCU football. We're honored to be here at the Roxo Media House inside the Flying Tea Club studio to host this edition of Frogs Today. We have a packed show for you today, including interviews from Sonny Dykes, Brandon Coleman, Josh Newton, and many more. Along with that, we hear from Big 12 Commissioner Brett Yormark about the state of the conference and what's next, along with the leader of TCU Athletics, Jeremiah Donati. We also have a new pro frog as Braden Taylor heard his name called in the first round of the MLB draft by the Tampa Bay Rays, along with six other frogs. Finally, we will give you guys the one and only Bud Cam, as you will get an opportunity to capture media day from the player's perspective. Today's show starts after a quick word from our sponsors. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. At Higginbotham, we put people first. So we simply start by listening to you. Whether you're searching for customized insurance, HR, or financial solutions to protect your home, car, health, business, or employees, our specialists are here to serve you, the people you care about, and your success. Higginbotham, insurance, HR, and financial services. Inspired by you. Welcome back into the Flying Tea Club studio here at Roxo Media House. I'm Summer Holt with TCU women's soccer team. After one of the best seasons in TCU football history, the expectations are high for the Frogs heading into the 2023 season. Head coach Sonny Dykes joined us on set and talked to us about the outlook of the season along with his thoughts on all of the new Pro Frogs. You know, um, we got to go out and, and prove ourselves. There's going to be more eyeballs probably on us this year than there was in the past, but you know, we, we try not to get caught up in any of that. I mean, because that, that, we don't have any control over what anybody says about us or anybody's perspective on our program and, and any of that. So our job is just to work hard, make sure we get better every day, you know, try to, try to be a good teammate, um, you know, do things um, off the field the right way, um, you know, do everything you can to allow yourself to perform at a really high level uh, and practice every day and then put it all together to go out and perform well on Saturday. And, and really, that's kind of been our mantra. We haven't really, we're kind of uh, more stake, less sizzle type of deal than, than some programs, and we like it that way. Yeah, yeah, TCU is certainly a, a great, uh, viable option for guys. And, and I think, again, and a lot of that has to do with just the development of the program, you know, uh, prior to our arrival and, and also since we've been there as well. I mean, I think historically TCU has done a tremendous job of developing football players and and, uh, and that's really why guys go to college. They want to be developed, not only as players, but as, as people and as students. And, and uh, I think, uh, obviously, TCU has proven to be a place that can do that. Yeah, I mean, that's the great thing about our league. You know, every week you got to play well, and you got to take your hat off to our guys. I thought we played really well for 14 weeks last year. Um, didn't play well in week 15, which was very disappointing. But our guys, you know, really grinded and we were a pretty good team when the season started and we were probably above average in the you know the second quarter of the season and we probably got above average in the third quarter of the season and and uh, I mean then we got pretty good by the end and, and I think that's what we got to continue to do this year I mean we're gonna have to play well week in week out um, uh, you know and we need to get off to a good start and that's what makes college football great and unique is you can't drop any games early if you want to get to the to the ultimate goal. So you got to play consistent football week in, week out. We know Colorado will be, be a big challenge. We know there's going to be a lot of hype and stuff associated with that game, but it should be a great opportunity to see where we are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I think you go and you look at TCU in the last 20 years, you know, I think we're the top 10 program in terms of winning percentage in college football over the last 20 years. So there's been a history of success there for a long time. Uh, you know, our job is to continue to elevate that and get better and better. and we set the bar pretty high last year, but we can obviously improve on that by winning a Big 12 championship and, and then trying to ultimately win a national championship. So, you know, I think it I, I think it's good for all of us. I mean, we know that, uh, you know, Jamie Dixon is going to do a great job in, baske in basketball. You know, Kurt Sarlis is going to do a great job in baseball. You know, we're just excited about the new coaches that we've added to TCU. And, and uh, you know, the bar is set high by all the other teams, and which is great. We get to compete you know, amongst the teams inside of TCU's programs. And so it's been a, it's been fun. It's great to be able to go and cheer for those teams because, you know, they, they play hard and they play consistently well and they have a chance to win every game that they play. And that's what's been fun to be a part of it. 
Even after an NFL draft which saw eight frogs selected, TCU is bringing back many playmakers for the 2023 season, including some key players like defensive back Josh Newton, who was selected to the preseason All-Big 12 team. Josh and his teammates talked to frogs today and let us know how this preseason has been going so far and if there's any difference from last year. Yeah, it's really better because I got more time to just really get settled and understand like the, the workouts and why the why of what we what we're doing. Because you know, I came in in June and it was like straight to the money. And but after the off season we had it just everything just made more everything got more clear. I mean having eight players in the in the draft getting drafted, all that stuff and the other players getting picked up is just a huge accomplishment for us and the team, just seeing how we're able to gel and how far we've come that they can achieve that. Um and this year, yeah, people like Steve, uh, Max, Doug and him taking over the role that they had as a leader and trying to, you know, get on my show just because I wasn't a leader last year. You know, I play hard, do that stuff, but being vocal is not my thing. So people like me, Andrew Coker, Jerry Wiley, being able to kind of step in their like footsteps and take over as a leader by example and also just talking to the team, making sure that everybody's gelling good is, is going to be a big thing for us this year. Um, whole new team. Um, I mean, it's been a smooth summer, though. I'm excited, excited to see what we can do next year. You know, just uh, more work put in. Uh, we got to build our chemistry with the new guys, so we put them on the train, you know, trying to get keep it going from last year. Pretty good. Like, you know, we got new new faces, transfers, freshmen coming in. You know, it's been going pretty good. Now we're getting into July, trying to keep our bodies fresh and get ready to get out there in fall camp. The Frog players also told us their thoughts about the new teams in the conference and if the Big 12 has become the best conference in college football. I think we have a good competition. What we saw last year, you know, having first round picks from defensive ends to Steve Avila, other people, receivers, we have talent across the board, all teams, um, great competitors, great games. I like can see with all the stats, everything, everybody posts. So I feel people sleep on us, but Big 12 is there and have great competition for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, the Big 12 stacked this year. Um, I think that as people watch throughout the season, you know, we'll, we'll start to get the credit that you know, I, I think that we deserve. So, um, you know, I, I'm like I said, I'm just excited for it. It's a, it's a new challenge for us. For sure, because uh, especially looking at our schedule, we got one of the hardest schedules in Big 12. So um, it's going to be a dogfight every week. It's really, man, I don't even want to say all that, but this is one of the best leagues to play in college football for sure. Top three. Lastly, the Frogs let us know their reaction to being picked to finish fifth in the Big 12 in the preseason poll. Yeah, I mean, just like last year, personally, I don't try to look at that. I mean, it's, some people use this motivation, and I just choose to kind of ignore it because I know p people picked us as last or whatever last year and didn't think we'd make it far, and we just kept our head down and worked and focused and put our trust in the coaches, Coach Kaz, Coach Dykes, and um, see how far it took us. So doing the same thing this year and just staying confident, staying within the team will get us just as far. Definitely have a target on our back for sure. Um, I mean, none of us really care about preseason polls or anything like that. I mean, it's preseason for a reason. So, um, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't think any of us have even like I, I just now found out that we were picked fifth. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't really look into into all that stuff. Uh, we don't talk about it too much, but you know, we all got the target on our back. Pretty much, uh, everybody want to be TCU. No, I mean, exempt, like you just said, we got picked last and we ended up first. Even though we didn't we didn't win the Big 12, but as far as record, we were the best team in the Big 12. So, I mean, it really don't mean nothing. It's whatever we see in the mirror as our team, how we see our team, that's what we're going to be. To me, it don't matter. And I think to the team, it really don't matter because it's just a preseason rank. It don't matter where you start. It always matter where you finish. So, yeah. Safe to say the Frogs are motivated to repeat their success from last year and prove the doubters wrong. While TCU football tries to have the same level of success from last year, one thing that will not be the same is the Big 12 Conference. When we come back, we will hear from Big 12 Commissioner Brett Yormark. Stay tuned. John's Grill is the newest venture from John Bennell and the Bennell's Restaurant Group. A reach-to-table concept featuring food, beer, and spirits from around the great state of Texas. Our menu is designed by Chef Sean Alvarez and features two chef-inspired burgers, the fatty and the flatty, plus a brisket menu perfect for your casual night out. Fast, casual service in a fun, relaxed, family-friendly environment, featuring 11 big-screen TVs for you to catch the big game on. Our mixology team has created a craft cocktail and beer menu, featuring local spirits and brews from across Texas. John's Grill, home of the Players Club show each week, 2905 Westbury Street in Fort Worth or online at johnsgrill.com. 
Welcome back inside the Flying Tea Club studio here at Roxo Media House. I'm Joel Terza with the football team, and this year will be unlike any other in the Big 12. Some new faces will be joining the conference this year, as Houston, Cincinnati, UCF, and BYU all join the Big 12 this year. Commissioner Brett Yormark spoke about these new teams and what he's expecting from the conference as a whole this season. Well, we want to be the innovation conference. You know, we might not be the biggest, but innovation, access, positively disrupting, doing things that are different, uh, breaking boundaries, if you will, is certainly something we want to do. And he and I spent a lot of time about how do we innovate with our TV partners? You know, that's certainly something that we're exploring for the upcoming season and letting fans get a closer view of who we are and what we do and I think you're going to see that unfold on opening on opening weekend with Fox and when they you know visit TCU and you'll see it play out on ESPN as well throughout the season so innovation is a is something that we're striving for across the conference certainly working with our TV partners is 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 one way we're going to do it but I think we've given people a peek under the hood this year and how we've created new IP how we've been a little disruptive a little bit create more creative and we've just begun. They're going to see more and more of that. I mean, if you think about Mexico, generally speaking, 22 million consumers in Mexico City alone, if a small fraction become Big 12 fans, that's a big deal for us. Um, so I think it starts with building the brand and profile around initiatives like that. But ultimately, how do we commercialize it is, is the outcome I'm going to look for. And I think we certainly can. TCU has done an incredible job. I mean, I speak to Jeremiah about it all the time. He should be very proud because it's not just football uh, or basketball. It's much deeper than that. Uh, it's equestrian. It's women's soccer. It's baseball. Uh, I mean, I was, I was in Arlington, you know, for our baseball championship. So, uh, I mean, from top to bottom, it, it's become a national brand. And they're, they're attracting all the right student athletes. And I'm very proud of the job he's done. It's going to be fun getting to see some new teams in the conference this year and showing them what TCU football is all about. Not only did we get to talk to the leader of the Big 12, but we got to check in with the leaders of TCU athletics. As football season begins to gear up, we take a look back at one of our baseball stars who got selected in the first round of the MLB draft last week. Stay tuned. Simply the best barbecue in Fort Worth. Dine-in, catering, or drive through 2900 Montgomery, just off I-30. Remember, the best barbecue in Fort Worth is at Railhead Smokehouse. Welcome back inside the Flying Tea Club studio. We got a chance to speak to some of the most important people in TCU athletics on the heels of one of the most impressive athletic years in recent memory. Athletic director Jeremiah Donati has gotten a first-hand look at the success of all of Horned Frogs athletics. You know, I have high expectations. I mean, we've raised the bar last year. I mean, you can't, it'd be silly to, knowing the competition out there, you'd be, you'd be silly to sit here and go, you know, it's the return of the national championship game. Uh, but I think we've got a chance to be deeper and more talented. It's got to come together. We've got some new coaches and Kendall Bryles and uh, so, some kind of wrinkles in the philosophy. You heard coach talking about that, but um, I've seen these guys work and I've seen these coaches work and I've got, I've got a really good feeling about this team. You've got to stay healthy, and uh, but I think a lot of the things we're doing from a strength and conditioning standpoint, recovery, nutrition, those things are really paying off. So, um, you know, I think uh, we've got a chance to be to be good. You've got to go out and you've got a week win one, you win week one before you can get to week two. But um, we're pretty excited about this year. One of the things I'm so proud of at the university is just the leadership at the top, the growth of the university. I think we've grown about 3,000 kids in my 10 years here. Um, and if you just look at, you know, I mean, I've got two kids myself. They're not college age, but look at all the things that we provide on campus. It really isn't everything school. So we just play a small part in that um, with the athletics programs, but the, the athletic programs we have are really doing their part. You got to tip your hat to Commissioner Yormark. Um, you know, he, he told us a year ago here that um, he was going to be bold, innovative, and part of that strategy was stabilizing our future. And Fox and ESPN stepped up. They loved his vision. They loved the, the, the trajectory of our conference, even with Texas Know You leaving. And, I mean, we got a killer deal. 
and it's going to be a great thing for all the institutions. But um, the, those two partners, ESPN and Fox, are the best in the business. They're brand builders. There's a difference between having a television deal and having a television deal with brand builders like ESPN and Fox. So we're very grateful. Uh, we'll get Fox all we can handle of Fox day one against Colorado. They're going to bring their A team uh, for, for the big noon. And um, we just couldn't be more excited about that partnership. We didn't wake up at the beginning of the year and set out to do these things. Those started 30 years ago. And so if you think about all the people, the men and women, the leaders uh, around our community and our school that had a piece of that, had a part in that, uh, and how it all came together, uh, that's what I'm most excited about, most proud about, because it doesn't just happen overnight. This was really a 30-year overnight success story, and it takes a lot of investment. It takes a lot of alignment. Uh, it takes a lot of belief. And it takes a lot of persistence. And so to see those things come together, I'm not surprised it came together because those are what we've been dreaming about for years. And I've been fortunate to, to be here for, for a large part of that. But uh, I, I'm just proud it all came together. And I'm proud and happy for those people that had so much to do with it. A lot of them aren't here anymore. A lot of them have retired or even passed on. And uh, I think I was most happy for those folks. Uh, it's, it's a lot of things. It's a combination. Um, it's, it's an unbelievable school. There's not a better place in the school for an in-person, not a pl better place in the country for an in-person experience than TCU. Um, a phenomenal education. Fort Worth is, is one of the best cities in the country. We're sitting here, we're, we're 25 minutes from campus here at, at AT&T Stadium. So you've got one, great things to do here around the Metroplex. But I also think it's the culture at TCU. I think it's the way in which people support each other on campus. And I think it's a combination of those things and the resources we provide our programs that really make it uh, second to none. I mean, I, uh, there's a lot of great schools out there, but I don't know that any other school has the combination of what I just set out there or what I just laid out there that, that TCU has. Mark Cohen, who's the director of football communications and in his 18th year at TCU, stopped by to talk about just how great this past athletic season has been. Absolutely. I mean, here we are in our 150th year as a university, and without a doubt, this was the greatest year across the board for all of TCU athletics. And of course, football kind of set the tone when you make the college football playoff, and to do it when it's still only a four-team playoff, that's pretty special. And then also to be one of just a small handful of schools who can say they've won a college football playoff game. So the overall success of football, then you look at what baseball did with the trip to Omaha. You know, we had six sports that were in the final four or better. We had four different sports that were ranked number one in the nation at one time or another to have 19 of your 21 sports represented in postseason play. Um, just a phenomenal year, a lot of momentum, and we're excited you know, for this coming year. When we come back, you don't want to miss our very own Bud Cam, along with one of our very own TCU Frogs that was drafted in the first round of the MLB draft. All that coming up next. Stay tuned. The Flying Tea Club provides the everyday TCU fan and alum the ability to specifically support TCU student athletes. Flying Tea Club offers three levels of memberships. The Flying Tea Club is a nonprofit organization supporting the brand development of TCU student athletes through a series of unique event based networking opportunities, which are exclusive to our members. These events provide a great social engagement tool for our members and student athletes alike. Follow them on Instagram at Flying Tea Club or online at flyingteaclub.com. Hey, Frog fans, I'm Summer Holt, and we want to thank the Flying Tea Club for our studio sponsor and make sure to check out their annual party on July 27th. TCU football, basketball, and baseball players and coaches will be in attendance. Make sure to get your ticket at flyingteaclub.com. As we promised at the beginning, Here's the one and only Bud Cam to get a look behind the scenes here at Big 12 Media Day. I don't know if y'all can see me, but I'm on it. I'm going to talk to these boys. Bring these boys, bring y'all upstairs right quick. So, boom. Man, we got Baylor. How y'all boys doing today? Oh, that was Robert. How y'all boys doing today? I got you a cool little fit on. Cool it fit, cool it fit, cool it fit. But let me see. I don't see what I want to see. I don't see what I want to see. Not, nah, not the Adidas. Not, ah, nah, 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 nah. K-State, nah. Oklahoma, nah. Oh, ooh, ooh, there we go. <laughs> Look at them boys. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. They threw me off with the white socks, but it's all right. I ain't even gonna talk about them. <laughs> oh, yeah, we bought a cool with this. 
I'm gonna have fun with this, baby. Let's, baby. Let's go. You know what it is, my boy. Hold up. Good. Hey, man, come film the pump. Send the film the camera. You want to film the camera? Yeah, exactly. Turn like this? <laughs> oh, you want me? Like, like you're filming me. Oh, man, let's go, let's go, my boy. Bang, bang, bang. There yeah, that was hard, wasn't it? I know it was. So, you know, this is this a lit, lit something, something. This some little beauty we wish we had, man. It's all right, though. It's all right, but that's that natty. My bad, big dog. My bad, big dog. <laughs> this that's that natty. They making that video, but our video gonna be dope. Let me, let me. <laughs> it's gonna be dope. Let me see, let me zoom in on that mug. That's how Big what? Big 12, baby. Champion. Man, we need to get this mug. That baby pretty. Mark, let me talk to you. Mark, let me talk to you, man. Mark, you don't hear me, Kyle? Hey, let me talk to you. How you doing on this beautiful day? Doing you know, well. Just had, to, just had to get you on the camera, man. This is the man that made it all possible. You know you know what it is. <laughs> well, it is an honor to be with you here today. Thank you for spending your day with us. Yes, sir. Thank you for having us, man. See you so well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Absolutely. I just made my day, Mark. Yeah, cuz. Tell me where you got the, tell me you got the fit from. Fit? Yeah. This is straight from Joseph A. Bank. Joseph A. Bank. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Straight up. Straight up, y'all know what it is. <laughs> How y'all boys doing? <laughs> oh. hey. How she want to talk to? How she want to talk about to get her? Where's it going? I'm gonna find somewhere. I gotta find me somewhere I can get. That boy sharp. That's actually you get the fit from, man. You know, it's just from my. Where am I getting the fit? Yeah, where is it? New York. So we. Oh, you from New York? Yeah. yeah we Suits and sneakers. Oh yeah, so you came a little way. Day ones, always. Oh yeah, straight up, straight up. Hey, them babies hit. Yeah, hey, I'm telling you, you look good, man. Yes sir. Yeah, yes sir. I feel so. Good. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot as it was. God no. Yeah, she. Yeah, that's hot. That's little Delaney right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know the deal. Uh oh. -uh. Yeah, I like this one. I like walking around with this thick. How y'all doing? Oh, you done graduated. You yes. got the camera. Yes, man. You see me? Let me ask I got a couple questions. Oh, maybe this one goes home. Here we go. Hold up. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you eating? What are you eating? What's, what's, the, what's, what's that? All right, sir. I'm eating me a little steak taco right now. Yeah, that's pretty much. Let me, let me see the chain, man. Let me see the chain, man. Hey, more. What that say on it? What that say on it? Big oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. What you got? What you got, Biko? Yeah. Say something German for me, cuz. Alright, I got you. Some bisschen Hühnchen. Some taco with rice. I'm gonna have a bisschen Gemüse noch da mit drin, bro. Weißt du? What? What'd you say? Oh, I'm gonna with, with uh, electrolytes. Oh no, I know what you said, yeah. my boy. I know what you said. That's stupid. Um, Mr. Mr. Josh. Mr. Josh Newton. Oh, what's question. going on with your pimp? I have a question, I have a question. How you doing? Uh, are people allowed to fish on this side? No! <laughs> That's what I'm... <laughs> this, is, this is big guy. Big guy, what you got for me? What you got for me? Give me something, give me something. I got nothing for you, Aw, oh, come on, man. You supposed to... I come to you last for a reason, man. I ain't got nothing for you. What you eating, though? What you eating? A little chicken taco, you feel me? Nothing chicken major. taco? Nothing major. He got grass on that mug. Yeah, you got your filter. Oh, yeah, the boy's nasty. The boy's nasty. <laughs> OB. All right, what you know? Man, I just had to do the fit, man, because you look clean, you look it, good. Bro. I'm trying to be like you, you man. Look good. Like hey, you, I'm telling you, you look good. You got the threes on there. Threes you see what it is? Yeah, straight oh, yes, up, sir. straight up. <laughs> got the uh, ESQ. Oh, got yeah. Got here, obviously. Yeah. Got my signature, Sam Macho, Hebrews 11.1. One. Oh, uh, yeah. That's my favorite Bible verse. Without faith, it's impossible. Actually, that says faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Um, so anyway, just a reminder for me as a football player of like, man, what does it mean to have faith? Like to follow Jesus? What yeah. does it mean to like give your all, not only as a football player, but in everything that you do? And so like, um, even this suit and like trying to like dress to impress and prepare and study, like that's the kind of stuff that I care about. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. You got my best interview all day. Uh, there we go. go. Came up here with the big old Cincinnati bad cat, man. Yeah, yeah, look, 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 look at the chick this dude out. Chick dude out. <laughs> No problem, baby. Thanks so much to Bud Clark for helping us get a player's point of view here at Media Day. As football season begins to gear up, we take a look back at one of our baseball stars who got selected in the first round of the MLB draft last week. 
Congratulations to Braden Taylor as the Tampa Bay Rays drafted him with the 19th pick in the first round last week. Taylor is the fifth first rounder drafted in TCU baseball history. Braden was a pivotal piece in helping the Frogs get to Omaha this past season and was a third team All-American selection for his play last season. Taylor this past year tied TCU season record with 23 home runs for a career total of 48 and was first team all Big 12 along with being the Big 12 tournament MVP. Taylor this past year tied a TCU season record with 23 home runs for a career total of 48 and was first team all Big 12 along with being the Big 12 tournament MVP. Along with Braden, six other frogs were drafted, including Cole Fontenelle, Ryan Vanderhei, Cam Brown, Elijah Nunez, Trey Richardson, and Garrett Wright. Congrats, Braden, and all the frogs who were drafted. We're so happy for you, and we can't wait to be rooting for you in the majors. Also, congrats to Max Duggan on being the recipient of the Big 12's inaugural Bob Bowlesby Award. Named in recognition for the conference's former commissioner, the award is the Big 12's most prestigious individual accolade. It is presented to a male and female student athlete who represent the absolute best in the conference for their leadership and excellence on and off the field of competition. The winners were determined in a vote by the Big 12's athletics directors. The awards just keep piling up for Max. We look forward to watching you in the NFL. I hope that everyone has enjoyed the show today as I know we have. For everyone behind the scenes here at Roxo Media House, I'm Summer Holt. And I'm Joe Laterza. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for supporting TCU Athletics. Go, Go Frogs! Frogs. Roxo Media House.